Jerusalem of eight gates is surrounded by rocky mountains, ancient walls, narrow turrets, towers and gleaming domes. In the middle of the city we can see the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre, located in the Christian quarter of the old city of Jerusalem. At this place Jesus Christ was crucified and three days later was resurrected. The church was first built in 335 AD. The church was destroyed and restored several times during the rule of the Byzantine Empire and the Crusaders. The Crusaders in the 12th century gave the church its current appearance. Let's get in the church. To the right of the entrance, several stairs lead us to the upper part of the church. This is the place where Jesus was crucified. This is the hill of the Golgotha. In the level of the Golgotha hill, on the right, is a chapel featuring a mosaic of Jesus being nailed to the cross. To the left is a chapel with a cross on top of the bedrock, the hill of the Golgotha. These two chapels are two of the 14 stations of the cross of the Via Dolorosa, the last journey of Jesus before he was crucified on this spot. Inside the church lays a reddish stub of stone. This is the stone of unction, where the body of Jesus was laid after being removed from the crucifix and prepared for burial. He was anointed and wrapped in. Many pilgrims kiss the stone or rub it with crosses and additional items. This is the mosaic of the crucifixion and lying on the stone. In the mosaic we can see how Jesus is taken down the cross with Jerusalem at the background and the rock is underneath him. In the center we can see that Jesus is laying on the stone in preparation for burial. On the left Jesus is brought into the cave for burial. In the middle of the church is the burial site itself. This is a structure covered by a big dome called the rotunda. At the center of the rotunda is a structure, the edicule. The entrance to the edicule is through the chapel of the angel, leads to the chapel of the holy sepulcher, which, con which contains the tomb of Jesus. This is also the 14 stations of the cross.